Being present in now is hijacked by hundreds of thousands of years of conditioning to anticipate the future, to learn from the past. We are here because we evolved to do this. And I am grateful for this. And it is a powerful obstacle to being present in the now. Being present in now enables us to drop into the delight and privilege of breathing sweet air, experiencing affection and compassion, being present in our bodies and present in our lives. Being present in now allows us to walk fully engaged with the now of the gift of this life here, now, being present. What a gift. Welcome to the North Shore Unitarian Church. In this community, we celebrate people from all walks of life, no matter how you make your living, how you experience the sacred, no matter who you are, who you love. We want you to feel welcome. You are welcome here. We appreciate and acknowledge our spiritual home here on the unceded yet shared lands of the Coast Salish people. And we pledge to help ensure that acts of creativity and healing eventually outnumber acts of destruction here. To honor this time and this place, we kindle this flame as a symbol of our gathering, as Sue lights this candle. As we sing this next song that we know and love, Breathe In, feel free to use it as a vehicle for dropping into awareness of now. Be still and quiet if you want or roar harmonies. You are here, you are here. You are here. Breathe into this time, breathe into this place, breathe into your life and the new little life that we have at the back there, welcome. When I breathe in,
For this sacred ritual of cares and concerns, I know that there are many in this room today who hold loved ones or themselves or some they might not even know in extra tender care. We're going to do this a little differently. I've done it once before. What I will do is I ask for you to give me the names of people who you would like us to hold in love and care and tenderness at this time. It might be people who have an extra joy, a delight in their life, something we can celebrate. It might be something that feels hard. You don't have to tell me what it is. Just give me a name and I'll write that down and then I'll incorporate that into our meditation of care and concerns. So you will need to shout a little bit just to let me know so I can hear the name. So are there any particular, I'll start with joys if that's okay, any particular joys? Ruth, Ruth thank you. Another one. Ursula. Ursula. Love it. I know Ursula, and I know Ruth. Yes. Joel. Joel. Absolutely. Another one. Andalea and Jim. Who and Jim? Andalea. Andalea and Jim. Okay. Any particular... Have we finished with the joys? Sorry? Malcolm. Malcolm. Yes, that's a joy. Liz, that's a joy. So many joys in this room. Sorry? Madeline? Madeline? And? Jenny. Okay. Any particular people we would like to hold dear to us that we know are struggling? Virginia. Diane and Michael Noble, thank you. Lena. Noble, just one second. Lena, okay. Kyle. Kyle. Thank you. Lucy. Karen. Karen, thank you. Luna. Luna. Lisa. Lisa. Cindy. Cindy. Marilyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. Catherine. Catherine, Joan, Joan. Joan. thank you, Lucy's family, Lucy's family. Eric. sorry, Eric, Eric. Hans. Hans, yes, all right. Yes. Michael Daunt. Michael Daunt. Thank you. It's wonderful to see you both. Welcome. Anyone else? Okay. Please take a deep breath. We extend our hearts and our minds to care for others, both within this community and beyond it. O oh, spirit of life, spirit of love, we thank you for your presence with us today. We see in our mind's eye beautiful, warm light. See yourself within this light. Know there is joy in this light surrounding you, within you, between you and others. We draw into focus the power of love. We see and celebrate joyfully with Ruth, with Ursula. We celebrate with Joel, Andrea and Jim, with dear Malcolm and beloved Liz with Madeline and with Jenny. O oh, Spirit of Life, we thank you. 
And we see all those whose lives are torn by violence, by addiction, by illness, by fear, sorrow, and rage. And we hold in our love Virginia, Diane and Michael, Lena and Kyle. We hold Lucy close to us, Karen, Evelyn, and Luna. We hold Lisa in our love, Cindy, and Marilyn. We hold Catherine, Joan, and Lucy's family. We hold Eric, Hans, and Michael don't. Take a moment and know that the power of your love and your care is extraordinary beyond all of our knowing, that simply holding these names in love can make a difference. We can extend ourselves into an extraordinary place of togetherness. May the joined intention of this room bring healing, comfort, and strength to all. Amen. So today, I am so delighted to bring with you a woman who I have known, how many years has it been? It's more than 25. More than 25 years. Yes, Daviki. I first got to know her because I taught her daughter a uh, violin, who now I believe has three children, two, two children. <laughs> what happens to time? It's very strange. Daviki will first speak a little about Yoga Nidra, and then, after a few moments of chanting Om Namah Shivaya, she will lead us in a 20-minute meditation. I did say last week, if you brought a pillow or a cushion and you want to lie down on the floor, you're welcome. If that presents a real problem because you don't want to spend the rest of your life lying on the floor, you're welcome to sit on the seats. So, welcome Daviki. Thank you. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Uh, thank you, Alison. Thank you to each and every one of you for welcoming me here today. It's a deep honor, it's a privilege, and it's a joy. So Alison has asked me to speak a little bit about Yoga Nidra. So you're probably familiar with the word yoga, but not the word nidra. And nidra is a Sanskrit word that means sleep. But it isn't the usual kind of sleep that you experience when you actually don't experience anything. This uh, state of yoga nidra is that liminal space between being awake and being asleep. There's a liminal space in between those two states. This space, with Yoga Nidra, what we're actually doing is we're expanding this space, this liminal space. And we're in that liminal space, we're cultivating the power of awareness. The power that is innate within all of us, the power of consciousness to be aware. Why is this important? The more we can shine awareness, or as some people say, the more we can shine the light of consciousness onto all of our experiences, the more that we can recognize them as experiences that are constantly changing. And we begin to recognize that this power of awareness never changes. 
it's always present. It's that power of awareness that allows and illuminates everything and experience to happen. This power of awareness is love. It is peace. It is the silent stillness that is the ground of being, underlies everything. So the more we can learn to access this power of awareness and recognize it as the essence of who we are and what everything is, the more we move through life with ease, we experience a sense of contentment. We experience a sense of peace and trust. We experience a sense of wonder, mystery, magic. We experience deep connection to ourselves and to everything else in existence. And we come to recognize the interconnectedness of reality. And when that happens, we don't feel separate. We don't feel limited or small or alone or afraid. It doesn't mean that we don't experience all the flavors of life, whether it's sadness or joy or pain or pleasure. We still experience them, but they don't overwhelm us. We can experience them fully, appreciating them for what they are as an opportunity to re-recognize the awareness, our power of awareness. This allows us to live more fully, being present in every moment and savoring life. So how does it work? So there are various different models to describe how it works, but what I want to point your attention to today and what's probably the easiest way to explain it is brain waves. So there are four states of brain waves that we as humans experience. There's the beta brain waves, and those are the brain waves when we're awake and conscious, we're perceiving all through all our senses, we're experiencing mental activity, and we're focused on what's happening outside of ourselves. And then there's the alpha brain waves. And the alpha brain waves are a slower, deeper brain wave state. And that's when we're super conscious almost. We're very consciously aware we're experiencing, we're feeling everything that's happening in our bodies and outside of our bodies, but we're inwardly focused. Our attention is what's happening inwardly. And there's a sense of space or distance from what's happening externally and what we're feeling through our senses. And then there's the theta brainwave state and that's that deep meditative state. And in that state of theta brain waves, all our um, unresolved experiences, past traumas, emotions, are able to just move through and integrate. So, the fourth brainwave state is the deep sleep state when there's no experience. But I'm not going to lead you into that today. Because <laughs> you're all sitting in chairs. 
<laughs> so this is how Yoga Nidra works. By uh, guided meditation, by naturally and progressively reducing the brainwave activity so that you can rest in an expanded consciousness state and simply experience everything without identifying with it, making it about you. Why is this important? It allows you then to begin to immerse more fully in this expanded state of awareness. And it also allows all those unresolved experiences that have accumulated to start to loosen and disperse and dissolve and integrate. Yoga Nidra is said to be a gateway to unity consciousness. It seems the perfect place to talk about it today and to share an experience of it. Thank you. Allow your body to relax. And just take a moment to get comfortable. And then once you're comfortable, allow your eyes to close. And begin to draw your attention inward. bringing your attention down into your body. Feel the soles of your feet. Feel how they're connected to the earth beneath you. And feel your lower legs. And feel the upper legs, the thighs. And feel where the thighs and the buttocks connect to the seat beneath you. And allow that surface to take your weight more fully. And 
and feel into your back. Feel into the back of your heart and into the back of your body that's resting in the chair. And again, allow the chair to take the weight of your body. Allow your shoulders to relax. Allow your abdomen to be soft. Bring your attention to your face and allow your face to soften and relax. Allow your face to be like that of a sleeping child. No cares or worries. Begin to allow awareness to spread through your whole body. Feeling your whole body from the tips of your toes to your fingertips and to the crown of your head. Allow your whole body to rest. And as we move deeper into Yoga Nidra, I invite you to remain as still as possible to allow your body and your brain to relax. If you need to move or make a slight adjustment, feel free to do so and then come back into stillness. Now bring attention to the flow of breath and feel the breath flowing in and out of your body. Without making any effort or strain, just simply notice your breath, how it flows in and out naturally, all by itself. And now, begin to invite a deeper breath, breathing deeper down towards your abdomen. And if it helps to orientate your attention, you can place a hand on your lower abdomen. Feel the breath in the abdomen. Feel the natural rise and fall of your abdomen and chest as you breathe in and out. Feel your whole body breathing in. Feel your whole body breathing out. With each breath in, feel your body filling with life. And with each breath out, feel your body relaxing even more. Softening, opening, in a moment, I'm going to guide your attention through different parts of your body. There's no need to move the parts of the body. 
simply allow your awareness to move to each part of the body as you remain in stillness. Now bring all of your attention to the space between your eyebrows. The pit of your throat. Your right shoulder. Your right elbow. Right wrist. Tip of the right hand thumb. Tip of the index finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. Little finger. Wrist. Elbow. Shoulder. Pit of the throat. Left shoulder. Elbow. Wrist. Tip of the left hand thumb. Index finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. Little finger. Wrist. Elbow. Shoulder. Pit of the throat. Center of the chest. Right side of the chest. Center of the chest. Left side of the chest. Center of the chest. Navel point. Pubic bone. Right hip. Right knee. Right ankle. Tip of the right big toe. Second toe. Third toe. Fourth toe. Fifth toe. Ankle. Knee. Hip. Middle of the pubic bone. Left hip. Knee, ankle, tip of the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, ankle, Knee, hip, middle of the pubic bone, navel point, center of the chest. Pit of the throat. Center between the eyebrows. Allow yourself to rest deeply in the space between the eyebrows.
merging into that spacious awareness. Now use your power of awareness to listen to the sounds coming from the right side of your body. All of your awareness listening to the sounds on the right side of the body. Allow awareness to expand, to take in every sound on the right side of your body. And now consciously use awareness to listen to the sounds on the left side of your body. listening to all the sounds on the left side of the body. Expanding consciousness out to listen to everything on the left side of your body. And then allow awareness to expand out beyond your whole physical body and listen to the sounds in the whole of your experience. Listen with your whole body. Listening with every cell of your being. Listening to the whole of the present moment with your whole being. And now begin to draw awareness in again. Drawing it all the way in to the heart space. Locating that still, silent space deep in your heart. Visualize a flame deep in your heart. And as you breathe in and out, feel how that flame brightens, lightens.
and this light spreads through your whole being. Spreads beyond your physical body, illuminating your entire experience. and shining this light of loving awareness out to everything you see, everything you experience. Now allow this light to coalesce back into your physical body. Feel your body, the soles of the feet, the palms of the hands, the face. Feel the chair beneath you supporting you. Feel the density of your body, the muscles, the face. You come back into your physical body with that open, expanded consciousness and that open heart.
100% of her offering plate collection today unless otherwise noted will be given to the Lookout Housing and Health Society, whose aim is to transform the lives of the unhoused. More subsidized housing, better subsidized housing, social services and employment opportunities to put folks on a trajectory where they need never be unhoused again. Please give as generously as you are able. Thank you. For these gifts of life and love, we give our hearts in thanks today. Announcements. We have a few. After um, the service today, there will be soup downstairs provided by Diane. Diane, wherever you are, she's probably tending the soup right now. Give her a big hug and say thank you. She does such an amazing job. And then after the service today, we have a social justice workshop taking place. Uh, this is a very important workshop. Last time we met, we, out of all the various social justice causes, we chose health, mental health. Um, it's huge, addiction. The, the needs and the, the room for us to be involved is immense. Um, it's just huge. Um, also, today we celebrate several birthdays. We don't normally do birthdays because, you know, we, we would sing happy birthday every single day. But these just are so important. So we have several very significant birthdays. One the, happening this week, Liz Moffat is one. Ruth Sherwood is turning 90. Well done, Ruth. Yep. And... And we want to celebrate very specially today someone without whom you would not get videos at home. Throughout all of COVID, you would not have had videos at home. Well, that's not quite true. Cynthia was actually quite on it as well. But really, Malcolm Mallory. Malcolm. <laughs> Malcolm does caring. With every cell, he is there and caring, and he'll do, he drives people to appointments. He is there with the camera. He is training our two unbelievably phenomenal young men. Absolutely, thank you. Yes, we'll flatter you, yes. So to celebrate this, we're going to sing happy birthday to anyone who had a birthday this week right now.
our service or to start closing the service, we're going to sing the song which you did so beautifully during the offertory. How could anyone ever tell you you were anything less than beautiful? How could anyone ever tell you you were less than whole? Please rise to sing this.